Thank you for joining me once again. We're going to be thinking about the Exodus today, and we're going to jump forward in our reading just a little bit, and we're going to be looking in Exodus, I believe, chapter 15. We're going to be thinking about the idea of redemption. Now, the hymn, today's hymn, is, is the hymn Redeemed. Redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through His infinite mercy. His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed. His child and forever I am. You know what? The idea of redemption, sometimes in the New Testament, it speaks, about, it speaks about it as it has already happened, that we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. But then it also speaks about a future redemption, pointing towards the resurrection. Um, but the idea of redemption, the, the passage we're going to be looking at today is in Exodus chapter 15, verses 11 through 13, and where this is, this is in the midst of of what is usually called the Song of Moses, as you see it. And verse 11 says, Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? You stretched out your hand, the earth swallowed them. You and your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. That word redeemed there, I'd like, to, I'd like for you to see what that word literally means here. So, pardon me, this just got suddenly a lot busier on your screen, of course. Um, trying to highlight it so you can see it. But that's, this is our verse. Okay, so what, what I'm going to try to do, if I can, down at the bottom of your screen now, this word, or redeem, at least according to Strong's, this is what this word means. Obviously, to redeem, that is to be the next of kin, and as such to buy back a relative's property, marry his widow, etc. You know, when, a, when a brother would pass, such things as that. But you also see other ways that it's translated. Avenger, deliver, purchase, ransom, such things as that. But I just thought that was, that was interesting, that this is that word that is, that is used there for at least the Old Testament idea of redemption. Let's get back to where, where we were. Pardon me, that was the New American Standard, by the way. King James is also the word redeemed, though. But anyway, in the New King James. You and your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. In thinking about purchase and the purchase price, as we consider our hymn, Redeemed How I Love to Proclaim It. We are God's own peculiar people, the New Testament says. We are, and the idea is not that we are odd, it's that we have a special relationship, and that's how it's translated in other translations. We are God's own special people. We belong to Him. And Pharaoh and Egypt, they were so afraid of losing the Hebrews. And they were afraid of the Hebrews because the Hebrews were multiplying. And at a certain point, God says, enough is enough. He hears the oppression. He sees the oppression. He hears their cries. And he is ready to redeem his people. Because they are his people. They belong to him. And that is redemption. The purchase. The purchase of God's people. And, of course, we recognize the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. And so we think about that peculiar relationship 
that, that unique relationship that God has with his people. Come out from among them and be separate. I will be your God and you shall be my children. And that's, that's what we are called to have, that unique relationship. And that we are called to be, we are called to be different. We are called to be saints. We are called to be sanctified, set apart for a holy purpose. We are called to be holy as God is holy. We are, this is all a part of redemption. We belong to God, purchased us. With the Passover as well as you, you consider that redemption, it was a new beginning. It was a new beginning as they come out. The Passover was the beginning of the Jewish calendar. They cast out all of the leaven and, and such things. and they, they made a new start. That's what it was. It was a new beginning for them. And that is also a part, that is also a part of redemption as well. And we think about the price. And while we think about you know, the Passover, and we think about Christ our Passover, and the ultimate price. The ultimate price. Because you pay a price to redeem. And it was a price that we could not pay ourselves. Every one of us, every one of us could have died on the cross. And it would have done nothing to forgive us of our sins. Nothing. Jesus, the Christ, had to suffer. The Christ had to suffer. Why? Because the redemptive, the, re the price of redemption wired it. The blood of bulls and goats did not wash away sins. And so we sing our hymn, Redeemed How I Love to Proclaim It, Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through his infinite mercy, his child, and forever I am. Redeemed. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.